time. Kenny went from warm temperatures to carving ice. <laughs> Welcome back, Kenny Crompton. Feel like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. That's big. That's a kind of crazy, right? To go from Florida weather. Hey, but J Wayne, I'll yeah. have you know, and naturally, that I actually won the golf tournament oh, this wow. year. Wow! That's Ten good stuff. Years. That's a first time. Yes. Excellent. Congratulations. Won, won it by one stroke. Thank you very much. Uh, yes. We have a call. Oh, call. We've got to start calling you Kenny, Kenny Woods. Kenny Woods. There well, we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. I'll uh, take that endorsement money, too. Well, no, that's right. <laughs> All right, we're here at Elegant Ice Creations right here in Broadview Heights, and we're hanging out with Aaron and his amazing team. Now, they are going to do something they've never done before, folks. They are going to conduct their own ice festival, their own ice carving festival. And the cool part is it's going to be COVID-19 compliant. You can view it from your cars. They're going to put over 30 ice sculptures all around their facility here in Broadview Heights. And then you pay one fee for the car so the entire family can go in there. And then, boom, you're looking at really cool ice sculptures. And as you know, Aaron has participated in the Cultural Olympics and won several medals over the years. And, and Jeff and his team, they've all been with him for pretty much since the very beginning. So when we talk about world caliber ice carving, that's exactly what you are going to get and you are going to see. So you see these guys working on one of the over 30 ice carvings. How do you like that, Jim? 30 ice carvings. That's why I'm over here. Aaron, come on over. Yeah. Jim, you stay right there. Get all that ice on you. I'm going to come over here with Aaron. Aaron, good to see you, man. Likewise. So this is a great idea you guys came up with. Um, over 30 carvings. What are some of the types of carvings people are going to see? Well, there's two different sizes, the 1,200 pound and the 300 pound. And, and, and this one is a what, 1,200? 1,200, uh, 1, yeah. Okay. And then uh, there's going to be all sorts of different designs from dragon heads, horse heads, this old man winter, mm -hmm. uh, seahorses and butterflies, and something for every every person in the family, really. That's really cool. And we're watching you guys work on them now, and we're going to show them a little later. Another interesting aspect is at night, they take on a totally different look, don't they? They really do. They, they, they look like a, like a diamond during the day, but then they're illuminated at night. There's different facets in the ice carving, and those, those refractive angles, when the light hits them, they really light up. They're really cool. So you're going to have the sculptures lit up as well for, for the night? When yeah, all 35 will be lit up. That's great. Now, when does everything take place? It's on the uh, 5th, 6th, and 7th of February. Okay. So that's a little over a week from now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, a lot of different businesses have been affected by the pandemic, and ours is one. Without the parties and the gatherings, right. man, our, our sales are down really low. So if anyone could come out and, and experience something really amazing for their friends and family and neighbors, but also to help out a small business, we would, we would really appreciate that. That's awesome. Now, Natalie, you know, our, my, my fellow anchor, is, is a very beautiful woman. Now, I heard you guys, and she's quite athletic. So I heard you guys were going to make a 45-foot statue of Natalie, like in some kind of athletic pose, maybe throwing a javelin, maybe shooting hoops or something like that. Is that yeah. uh, if Natalie comes down and poses, then we'll consider it. Okay, okay. there you go, Natalie. All right. You I have don't about know. a week. I don't know if I could throw a javelin, yeah. but, you know. You can do something. a dance. You can do a dance. You can do a little pose. Yeah, dance pose. Dance maybe that'll work. <laughs> oh, maybe a dance. Well, we know. I heard you were an awesome break dancer, Natalie. So maybe one of your awesome break dancing poses, you can do it. Have a great time. I don't know who All he's right, here at Elgin Ice Creations, get ready. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go back to you guys in the studio while we think about uh, Natalie's pose. Okay? Oh gosh, yeah. Right.